heard a white noise, right? But if you have concerns about cognitive impairment, today I want to introduce you to a noise of a different color. I'm talking about pink noise, and your brain could stand to benefit from the rosy news I have to share with you. Hi, I'm Tony Deering of GoCogno.com, the site for people with MCI and author of the book, I Want My Mind Back. So more and more all the time, we're understanding what a significant role sleep plays in brain health. People who are not sleeping soundly have a much greater risk of cognitive impairment and of potentially developing dementia. How might you sleep better for the sake of your brain? Here's one suggestion. It's called pink noise. Pink noise isn't a household term the way white noise is. It's something I've been aware of for a while, though. But what really caught my eye was this research. The study was done at Northwestern University. It involved a small number of adults with amnestic MCI. People with MCI have trouble achieving what's called slow wave activity during sleep. And that's a problem because that's when the brain consolidates memories. In this study, while people slept, they received intermittent sound stimulation, which is basically pulses of pink noise. Their sleep activity was measured. And when they were listening to pink noise, they had longer periods of slow wave activity. The better they slept, the better they scored on memory tests the next morning. Now, this is just one study, and it didn't involve that many people. But other studies have shown that pink noise can help us get better sleep, and without question, better sleep benefits cognition. So what is pink noise? It's random noise with equal energy per octave. There's a lot of pink noise in nature like, say, the rustling of the wind, or the blowing of leaves, or the falling of raindrops. That's pink noise. And I think there's something to it. When my son was young, I used to take him camping. And sometimes at night, after we were in the tent and in sleeping bags, rain would start to fall. And there was something about the sound of the raindrops on the tent that was magical. It, it was like one of these special memories I have of his childhood. And, and I'm telling you, those were some of the best nights of sleep I ever have had. The reason I'm telling you this is because it's pretty easy to find pink noise for sleep on your computer or on your phone. And it's something you might want to consider. It's a safe, gentle, natural way to encourage deep sleep. If you want to know more, I'm including some links to resources below. You've heard the expression in the pink, and you know what that means. It means in good health. Maybe pink noise is a way to achieve better brain health. Give it some thought, some to sleep on anyway. Thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, as always, be kind to your mind.